Hello and welcome again. Now that we've taken a look at the widgets in iBooks Author and we've taken a look at the wonderful widgets from Bookery, let's say we really want to customize the interactive experience that our users are going to have when we're creating our book. Another great tool that you can use is something called iAd Producer that looks just like this. A simple Google search, you'll be able to download it. It's completely free. This is what iAd Producer now looks like, and it's going to allow me to create my own widgets. Now here, your ability to code can really take this to the next level, but even if you have zero skills in coding, you can still integrate a lot of features that iBooks Author and Bookread do not currently offer. So one of the things that I wanted to do when I was creating my iBook, if we go ahead and we take a look back over here, is I wanted these interactive activities that people could do while they are looking at the app and taking, you know, um, so that they could actually use it. I've created these things called obstacle courses. Now, these are thing links, so they're meant to be interactive. Now, if I was to just take a picture of my obstacle course and put it into iBooks, it's not going to be interactive. I want to keep the same functionality that I had as if I was right in ThingLink. So this is one of the instances where, you know, iBooks Author doesn't have a ThingLink widget, Bookery doesn't have a ThingLink widget, so I'm going to have to be a bit more creative. So if I'm going back to my page, I've got my little Bookery widget to open Book Creator. Now I need to give my users a task or something to do. So I have something prepared in ThingLink, and what I want to do is create a widget that I can use so that people can interact with my ThingLink. So like I said, I chose the HTML option, and we're just going to go ahead and double tap it. Now down right below here on the left, we have some options. We're going to choose Assets. This will kind of allow us to bring in any sort of other tools it is we want. Objects has all of the functions for what we can include in our widgets. So we can add an OK button if we want somebody to tap something. We could add an image in. We can add a text field. Lots and lots of options for what we can create. But like I said, I want to use a unique HTML code that's going to link people straight to my thing link. So I'm going to go ahead over here and I'm going to tap HTML you'll notice HTML will now pop up. I'm going to double tap it and it's going to bring me to another screen. One of the things you're going to notice is right down over here it says your HTML here which means I need to go and find my code to cut and paste in. So we're going to go to thinglink.com and in thinglink.com I have all of my thing links that I've created. So the one I'm looking for is how to use Book Creator. So we're going to go ahead and click on Book Creator. And right over here on the right hand side is an option to share. So you can see my thing link is interactive and I don't want to lose that functionality. So we're going to go ahead and tap on share. And right over here is my code. Now, I want to make sure that I choose iframe embed. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Right over here, I can adjust the size, which sometimes you know you definitely want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose 800. I'm going to go ahead and select it, copy code. And now that it's copied, I'm going to go back to iAd Producer. And right over here, I'm going to be really careful that I don't mess with any of the pink writing. I'm going to go ahead and just control V or command V <laughs> and bring it right in here. Now, here's what's a little bit tricky. Right over here, I'm missing my HTTP. So I'm going to want to go ahead and add that in. HTTP and my colon, double slash, and now I'm ready to go. And now that's all done, I'm going to go ahead and close it out. Yes, I'd like to save it. And there we go. Now we can see my thing link. I can go ahead and resize it. And go ahead and bring it right to the middle over here. And now I have a widget that's going to allow people to interact with it without losing any functionality. So now that everything looks good over here, I'm going to go ahead and save this. So I'm going to want to export it to disk. I'm going to call it book creator th and I'm going to go ahead and export it. 
right, so now that it's ready to go, let's go ahead and go back to iBooks. And you can see my widget is right over here. Just as always, gonna go ahead, bring it in, and it is ready to go. Now, if I didn't want that gray there, I would have had to have adjusted the size of my image. I'm gonna wanna go ahead and edit the text. It's a bit small there. Let's go ahead and make it bigger. And we're gonna say tap on the image to view the interactive thing link. So people know what it is that they can expect. We're gonna go ahead and um, italicize this. I'm gonna make it a bit smaller, it's a little bit too big. Don't really need anything on the bottom. And there we go, it's all ready to be used. Now let's go ahead and preview it just so you can see what it looks like. All right, and here we have the preview of our book. And now if I go ahead and I tap on it, it's going to now make it interactive. Pretty amazing. So again, you know, every time you're thinking or you begin by thinking about your learning objective, what do I want? What am I trying to get my students to do? Guaranteed, there'll always be a tool out there to help you do it. And if there's not one, there's probably somebody out there who's willing to help you make it. Good luck, and I hope you have lots of fun using widgets in iBooks Author and in the soon upcoming Book Creator 4.0.